heavy snow is slamming the Sierra right now, creating some dangerous conditions. Wind is blowing the snow around, limiting visibility for drivers on Interstate 80. In fact, I-80 is closed right now because there are so many spin outs. Let's give you a live look right now at Castle Peak. As you can see, traffic at a standstill as officials are working to clear the roads. And as bad as it looks right now, the storm is expected to get worse in the Sierra in the coming hours. Good evening, I'm Edie Lambert. And I'm Ty Steele. We're going to walk you through what to expect as conditions change overnight. So in the foothills, communities are going to see rain, and some of those places will see snow as the temperature drops overnight. In the valley, you can expect the scattered rain to continue. There's a look at some of the rain we've seen in the valley. Some people got caught off guard by a big downpour in downtown Sacramento. All right, moving down the mountain to the foothills in Camino. Rain continues, but communities in this elevation are going to see the biggest changes. Some will wake up to snow. Right now, the major impact is up in the Sierra. Heavy snow again, slamming the higher elevation. It's been like this all day. Live Tracker 3 showed us the conditions earlier today, and at times, as the wind picks up, it really creates very low visibility on Interstate 80. Yeah, it gets tough to see. We have live team coverage tonight from Interstate 80 to Highway 50, but we want to start with Chief Meteorologist Mark Finan. And a lot to get through because we have a wide variety of weather throughout our area, from the snow in the Sierra to the change coming to the foothills to the rain in the valley. We'll go through each area one by one, starting with the Sierra. We have been seeing the rain head up the hill and turn into snow at around 4,500 to 5,000 feet during the course of the day today. The snow level has been pretty constant and you can see that in the Tahoe Basin we are seeing some pretty good snow. Now along Highway 4 and 108, there's been a little bit of pause from time to time and that's what we'll continue to see tonight and tomorrow. We will see little pauses where it's not snowing all that hard, but right now the snow level is pretty consistent. On Highway 88, the Carson Spur is closed as often happens, so it's tough to get to Kirkwood. On Highway 50, we will see the snow level drop, but it is still above Pollock Pines at 4,000 feet. No snow just yet. Into the areas around Tahoe, all of the areas around Tahoe may see as much as three or four feet of snow over the course of the weekend and farther to the north on Interstate 80. As you just heard, Interstate 80 is closed right now, and who knows when that's going to reopen. Most areas in the higher terrain picked up about a foot and a half of snow overnight, and as of eight or nine o'clock this morning, they were measuring about 15 to 19 inches of snow. On top of that, we have more snow coming. So additional snow above 7,000 feet of another five to six feet of snow between now and Sunday evening. At 6,000 feet, we'll see about four to five feet of additional snow. And at 5,000 feet, where the snow's been kind of slushy, it'll turn much fluffier as the colder air moves in. And there we may see three to four feet of snow. Back to you. Yeah, really impressive. Mark, thank you. So again, right now, Interstate 80 is shut down from Drum 4 Bay to the Nevada State Line. We go now to KCRA 3's Danica Hill joining us live from Drum 4 Bay, where traffic is now being turned, and for good reason, too. Danica. Yeah, we're exactly where you said we are. We're on Drum 4 Bay here in Drum 4 Bay. This is where they are turning traffic around. We know for at some point today they were holding traffic here, but then Caltrans came by and told us not they're going to send people back. We're going to show you right now. This is where Caltrans is turning people around. You can see um, right now this this traffic was traveling eastbound. On now they're having to turn around and if you come around this way, you can see this is exactly the scene out here. We've got Caltrans, we've got CHP, we've got this traffic just moving. We know at one point there were chain controls here because of those conditions, but now again, it is just closed down as Mark. All right, we're going to just break away from Danica's live shot. That's just another yep. risk we take yep. when we go live from the Sierra during a storm. We know that uh, sometimes the signal can be interfered with. That's right, and the amount of snow we have seen in the past day is very visible on the roads. Check this out. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of Interstate 80 in Truckee. On the left, that's yesterday at 4 p.m. And you can see it was just slightly snowing, mainly rain. On your right, that's 4 p.m. today, and you can see the roads covered with snow and then all that snow off to the side of the roads as well. All right, let's uh, check out Highway 50 now right at Twin Bridges. Yesterday we just had some snow lightly coming down a little bit covering the road, but today look at that a major wow. difference. <clears throat> the one constant there is Caltrans checking to make sure people are carrying chains. Right now chain controls are required on Highway 50 and Jason Marks joins us live from Kybers. 
Yeah, AD, things are happening by the minute. Take, take a look at this. This just started up. You can see these pellets that are just now starting to come down. You take a look at the car, and this is the first sort of winter precip we have seen here in Kyber's. All day long, the chain controls have been up here in Kyber's, but you would have to go another four miles to about Strawberry before you actually started to see the snow, and then it was all, all the way over through the summit and then back down towards Myers once when you really saw the snow. Myers uh, uh, is the other place where we have uh, chain control. So chain control is going westbound, start in Myers. Eastbound starts here at Kyber's. And these guys here, the guys who are doing the chains, they've been very busy all morning long. Here, let me ask you a question. What's sure. your name? Doug Fur. Doug Fur. How long have you been doing this for? Uh, since 81, maybe? That's, that's a heck of a long time. <laughs> it's too long. Yeah. So t this is the worst case scenario, right? When you have this, this is not good for us. Well, yeah, this is, I mean, it could be, it could be worse. It could be snowing and we couldn't see anything. But. Tell me what you've seen throughout the day. This is the heaviest we've had all day. The heaviest um, precipitation. Most, uh, first time it's covered the road. So it's been pretty light all day. 81, you've done this a long time, putting chains on cars. What is your advice to drivers if they're starting to come this way? Well, have chains, number one. Um, know how to use them unless you want to, don't want to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> have money so you can yeah. pay me. Yeah, Absolutely, yeah. You'll take credit, right? Oh, well, yeah, you take credit. credit yeah. Cash or credit. Yeah, either one. Yeah. All right, well, you're doing a great job. Well, we appreciate you. all you do. Yeah, thank you thanks. so much. Thank you. I don't want to pay him either, so I'm going to go home for the night. But no. Uh, chain controls here, obviously, they're saying that if you don't have to be on the road, Edie, it's not a good idea to go on in the road. They really like to see people stay off the road tonight because, as Mark mentioned, those snow levels are going to continue to move down. We're only four miles away from where it was in Strawberry. It's going to continue to move down this way and move west. So it's, it's only going to get worse in spots like this. Now back to you. Love getting 40 years worth of perspective on what's going <laughs> on up there. That was great, Jason. Thank you. And of course, the advice that could be worse. Could be we worse. We've seen it. <laughs> snow is piling up at homes around Lake Tahoe. Look at this. A viewer shared this snow update from their home in Tahoma. That's on the west side of Lake Tahoe, just south of Homewood. They say already they've gotten 17 inches so far. They're expecting a lot more. All right, now to the foothills. In the next few hours, the snow is going to drop in elevation. Yeah, as it gets colder and one area where we are expecting snow overnight and into tomorrow is in Camino. As you can see from this video, they saw rain today, but that will change. So let's get back to our chief meteorologist, Mark Finan, to explain. Yeah, the foothills, they've uh, been, there's been a lot of confusion and chatter about this incoming weather system for the foothills. And so far, the last couple of days, just rain with that snow level today up around 4,500 feet or so, but that'll be changing tonight. We have this little line that's coming through that's ushering in some colder air. And as that colder air comes in, we are going to see the snow level drop. But as you can see in areas like Grass Valley, Nevada City, all rain right now, rain down toward Auburn, rain in Colfax. But these are areas that will likely see snow on the ground by early tomorrow morning. And the same is true in Tuolumne County. Groveland right now just has rain. You have rain even into Twain Heart, but that'll be changing. Let me show you a couple of examples. Right now, I'm going to show you from El Dorado County to the north, and you're going to see the snow level at around 930 tonight. Watch how this line begins to come down, especially in El Dorado County, so that by midnight, the snow level that was up here, now it's down here. So we have snow in Camino. We have snow in Nevada City. That's at midnight. It may not be snowing hard, but it'll s snow long enough so that by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, when things dry out for a little bit, there'll be a few inches of snow on the ground. But the higher up you are, the steadier the snow will be. But as you can see, it's not going to snow all day, but it'll be cold enough that every time we get one of these little waves of rain coming by, we will see snow at 2,500 feet and higher, and maybe a little bit of snow below 2,500. This is 6 p.m. tomorrow. A good example of that snow in Camino, snow in Georgetown, snow in Forest Hills, snow in Nevada City, but it's on again, off again. So let me give you an idea of just how much snow we're expecting in this area. Nevada City, maybe six to eight inches of snow, not all at once, but you'll see it on again, off again. Forest Hill, we'll see 
probably more than a foot and Pollock Pines more than two feet. So let's go a little bit farther to the south. Now we're covering from southern El Dorado County to Tuolumne County and you'll see the same thing. Watch in Arnold as the snow level gradually drops. That's 2 a.m. But then during the day tomorrow that snow level will get lower. But at these lower elevations, it's not nonstop snow like you'll see up toward Bear Valley. As we go through the day, yeah, on again, off again. That's at noontime, generally dry. And then into the afternoon, another wave of snow comes by. You'll start to see a really good snow in Twain Hart and Miwok Village and places like that. But again, it won't be continuous, but it will be a good enough that we'll see some really good accumulations above 3,000 feet. So let me give you some examples here. In Murphy's, yeah, we might get an inch or two of snow, but Twain Hart, more than a foot of snow, maybe as much as 20 inches. I hope that helps you figure out how much snow you might be getting at your location as we head through tonight and all the way into Sunday. Back to you. Absolutely, Mark. Thank you. And moving down to the valley, scattered showers continue. This is a live look at Fairfield, Sacramento, Rancho Cordova, and Stockton. You can see clouds throughout. We did see showers through the day, and it, sometimes it rained pretty hard. Now, this is in Roseville rain really coming down in this community. A viewer sharing this video from earlier today. It was pretty short lived though. It came down really hard and then it was not so much. In Stockton, a completely different picture. We saw clouds and some sun, some blue skies at times. So, uh, Mark, where is it raining right now? Well, the pictures just showed is a perfect example of what the weekend is going to be like in the valley. We've talked about the Sierra. We've talked about the foothills. Right now, there is a line of really good rain going through parts of the valley, but in many areas aren't seeing rain, and that's the way the weekend is going to go. From time to time, we'll see periods of heavier rain and other times it won't rain at all. But right now, this is that line that's going to help to usher in some colder air. So you're seeing some really good rain in southwest Placer County, so in Roseville and Rockland. But give it maybe another hour and this line will likely be past you. This is going right over downtown Sacramento. But you go a little bit to the east toward Folsom, El Dorado Hills. Nothing in the way of rain, but this line is heading your way and it's just starting to nudge into El Grove and farther to the south and west. This is also heading into the Rio Vista area. Stockton starting to get some really good rain too. So tonight we will see some really good downpours and some gusty winds. And then during the day tomorrow, the rain will be a little bit more hit and miss. I'll show you more on what we can expect in the valley tomorrow in just a couple of minutes. All right, sounds good, Mark. Thank you. And our weather coverage continues on the KCRA 3 app. Get live updates and forecasts from our team of meteorologists. Also track the storm with interactive radar and you can send your photos of the snow and the rain. All that and more on the KCRA 3 app.